I make gay marshmallows, and I get asked this question a lot. Before I get my marshmallows on the market, there was one thing that I wanted to focus on, and that is increasing the shelf life. So come along with me as we test the preservative effects of potassium sorbate on my marshmallow recipes. One of these batches is going to contain 0.15% potassium sorbate, and the other is going to contain 0.1% potassium sorbate. Both of these batches, I will just be adding one gram of cream of tartar to get the acidity down closer to a pH of 4.4. I took note of our initial pH readings and now I'm preparing the marshmallows to be packaged and heat sealed. At each time point, we will compare the texture, appearance, smell, and flavor. So with that, let's talk about day zero observations. Surprisingly, the negative control was the most structurally sound. I realize this is likely due to the higher pH in the negative control, which is more suitable for the gelatin, but less suitable for preservation. Marshmallows containing potassium sorbate had a more melt in your mouth sort of effect. Appearance and smell were the same across all conditions. The higher the potassium sorbate, the more unique and diverse the flavor profile becomes. And with that, I will see you in two weeks and we can see what changes.